there everybody and welcome back. So I've got quite a bit here on the table. I didn't order. <laughs> Uh, this time from garagegrowngear.com. I have to say it slow because if I say it super fast, I just muff it up. So garagegrowngear.com. I'll work on that. Not a sponsor or anything like that, but they are a U.S.-based company, you know, small business. And, you know, I think they have a couple of offices in, in maybe like three different cities in the States. But anyway, I got... Uh, I want to say maybe I found them on Instagram. That's probably true. And started looking around. I mean, I'm a backpacker, so anything gear related, I'll look at. But they actually have quite a decent amount of food. And I started looking around. I'm like, well, yeah, some of these brands I haven't tried or haven't even heard of. So, and prices were good too. They've been running sales and so forth. So the prices were all really good. And I was really happy with what I bought. So I'm going to show this to you and then we're going to try one uh, for the video. So let's go through a couple of these things. So I bought four packages from Nomad Nutrition. And I believe all of these are like, yeah, they're all plant-based. Um, aside... <laughs> I'm going to just start with the Canadian barley soup because they they put a little black spot here on the uh, what would I believe would be the gluten-free label. So most of them are gluten-free. Uh, this one's not. But again, plant-based, um, small packages. But most of these, I believe this is the, the uh, lowest caloric value of 230. But uh, honestly, for... For most of the stuff we see, that's actually pretty average, so that's not bad. So again, Canadian barley soup, we have Irish shepherd's pie. That's a whopping 400 calories in the Irish shepherd's pie, so that's really cool. Uh, let's see, this is the one that caught my eye, Hungarian goulash. 300 calories in that bad boy, so that's, this is probably what we're going to wind up uh, having today, but I, I'll, I'll decide, I'll see. Ukrainian borscht, uh, which, I mean, who does this in a ration? I mean, I, I, I've had borscht before, but like, it, it's not necessarily something that I've seen in a ration form. So that'll be interesting as we go along. 250 calories in that bad boy. Uh, we got a snack. They didn't have too much that I was interested in in the snack side, but trail butter, dark chocolate, and coffee almond butter blend. Uh, yeah, that'll be going into midweek snack rotation. Uh, we've got uh, Fernway Food Company Mushroom Pot Pie. I don't know anything about this company. Big bag, 580 calories. Uh, so big, big calories in this bad boy. Uh, but I like mushrooms. I like pot pie. I don't know how it translates into a ration, but we're going to try it. <sighs> Trailtopia. <clears throat> we've seen this before. Haven't been overly impressed with Trailtopia uh, for the most part. Been a little bland, but I mean, it is what it is. It's edible. It's fine. Sh Szechuan chicken with rice, though. I thought that sounded really good, so we're going to try it. <laughs> I got a couple of coffees from the site as well. Um, we'll start here with the single pack of Camp Craft Coffee. Medium roast, Latin American blend. Um, so yeah, that, that seems like it should be pretty good. Never heard of them though. <laughs> this one is a strange, uh, a strange one. And I, I don't want to say strange, but it's not something that I see a bunch, but I've seen it pop up a bit more. So from Santa Cruz, California, steeped coffee. So it, it's, um, it's coffee in a, like a tea bag. And this is the Driftwood Blend French Roast. So you, you steep it like a tea bag. And the weird thing is, is after I bought that, the, you know, the NSA algorithm, <laughs> you know, that we're all spied on, 
uh, started popping these up. I just started seeing them more. It's kind of like when you buy a new vehicle and you're like, oh, my vehicle is the best vehicle. And then all of a sudden you see 10 more vehicles exactly like yours. It was the same thing with this steeping coffee. I'd never really heard of it. Uh, well, I mean, I've heard of it, but I never really saw a ton of it. I never really had the interest in it either. But I was like, it was cheap, so I'll try one. We'll see what it's all about. Finally, from uh, Kusa Coffee, uh, cold brew instant coffee. So this is a hot or iced coffee, instant coffee, and I got the uh, light roast. 100% uh, Arabica coffee. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all down for new instant coffees. You guys, I mean, I've had my brother on. We've done a lot of instant coffee taste tests. We'll have to get him back for another one at some point. But the instant coffees... It, like in the little tubes are usually what I bring on trail with me. So we'll see if this works out. I do tend to like light roast, light to medium roast. I'm not really a huge dark roast. And the funny thing is, is that, and some of you might call me on this, but from my understanding, a lot of times the light roast actually contains more caffeine in it. And you also dodge the bullet of, uh, of it being bitter. So Anyway, or potentially bitter. So, oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> I got, they, they put this in the uh, package. It's a little like backpacker's toothbrush. Actually pretty handy when you think about it. It's got a nice little bit here for purchase. Um, I've seen people cut normal toothbrushes in half to try and get a, like, just just to get a light toothbrush like you know the ounce cutters it's like calorie counting except for ounces and and <laughs> grams at, at times um and i have a small light toothbrush from um oh crap i, I don't remember the company now but uh anyway z packs it's a z packs toothbrush but it, it, the bristles aren't quite blah 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 it doesn't matter we're not here to review toothbrushes I just thought it was kind of funny that they sent this for free. And, and there were some stickers as well. Uh, anyway, I do want to do a, a, a ration here. So a little bit of show and tell. But I think we're going to go ahead and do the Hungarian borscht. Or the <laughs> Hungarian borscht? No, I don't think so. Hungarian goulash. I'm just going to slide this all to the other end of the table. I love goulash. There was a restaurant that I used to go to as a kid called Chris's Cafe and Chris's Cafe, Cafe made these giant plates of goulash and as a kid it was the greatest thing ever so we're gonna try this now let's get into nutrition facts again 300 calories there's the rest of the nutrition facts if you're interested now again plant-based so let's take a look at the ingredients potatoes kidney beans onions red peppers carrots, lentils, tomatoes, olive oil, mushrooms, adobo, chili pepper, garlic, smoked paprika, paprika, spices, sea salt, and we've got a lot of certified organic stuff there. So different, <laughs> definitely different. Now we do have an oxygen absorber. We'll take that out, add, uh, well, it says pour a minimum of a half a cup of boiling water. See, these are my kind of people. They understand that sometimes it'll be more, sometimes it'll be less. Stir and seal and let stand for eight to 12 minutes. Again, small package here, but it seems to be pretty sturdy, pretty thick, pretty sturdy here. And foil lined. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's get that oxygen absorber out. Ooh, wow, that's got a great smell to it. I can smell, I haven't even put my nose to it. Mmm, mmm, man, that smells great. It has kind of a chili smell to it, which it would as, you know, we're, we're, we've got the beans, we've got the, the chili, or excuse me, the um, chipotle in there. Definitely a little different, but uh, let's go ahead and stir all this up. And I gotta say, that seems pretty darn soupy already. So yeah, this might be a wait and seer. 
So again, my basic rule of thumb is I like to try and cover everything and get a little soup in there. This is a little bit soupier than what I'd prefer, but I think it'll be okay. We're gonna let this set for the prerequisite eight to 12 minutes. I'm probably gonna check it at maybe five to six, uh, just to see if any more water is required or if it just needs a little stir, but maybe, maybe not. But regardless, we will be right back and we will test out the Hungarian goulash from Nomad Nutrition. Back with our Hungarian goulash. So, I would say for most people, the pour of water that I did in the beginning was darn near perfect. The contents of the bag soaked up all that water. I added just a wee bit more, because I always remember my goulash having a little bit of liquid uh, on the giant plate I got it in. So, <laughs> we are going to have a little bit of liquid there. So again, not a huge portion here, but again, 300 calories. So if you pair this with other stuff, you're gonna be pretty good. Mm, gosh, that smokiness is really coming through. And this looks nice. Looks like a nice little, uh, little mane. So let's give it a try. Good flavor, good amount of smokiness in there. Could have let it reconstitute just a little bit longer. The beans are fine, but beans are one of those deals that sometimes it just takes a little bit longer. Beans, rice, so I could have left it in the bag a little bit longer. A lot of potato. Kind of tastes like there might be a little caraway in there. Yeah, maybe. I could eat the crap out of this. Mm. But one thing I will say, am I missing meat? No. Would it be good with meat? Yeah. But is it missing it? No. It's spiced so well though. It really is spiced like really, really well. What was this giant stock thing here? It was just potato. That was just like a long potato. <laughs> Man. Yeah, there's definitely caraway in there. Gotta be. Very strong taste. Love caraway. Mmm. I am very impressed with this. I'm very impressed with the flavor. You don't need to add anything to it. I mean, granted, if you wanted to add a little hot sauce, I imagine that that would make this pretty good. Like it would add another layer, but I don't find my need, or I don't find the need to do that. It's very good as is, and it tastes hearty. Yeah, it, it's just, it's very hearty, kind of starchy, getting the fiber, mmm. Now, is it really Hungarian goulash? Um, I think a lot of Hungarian grannies would probably say no. <laughs> you know, strictly speaking, it's not uh, quite up to snuff. I know uh, if you guys watch much in the line of uh, outdoor channels, SB Outdoors, I've known Andy for a, a little while, and uh, they actually did an episode where their mom made them their family's Hungarian goulash so that they could freeze dry it. So you should uh, go out and uh, SB Outdoors. I believe their link might be down in the description. I'm not sure I'd have to check. But anyway, if not, just, go just YouTube them, search them, SB Outdoors. 
they've done a lot of really cool backpacking stuff but find that episode and see how she makes it because that was a darn tasty looking goulash mm. this is good though it's very good <laughs> don't have much else to say about that but I would recommend you try this now I'm looking forward to more of Nomad because if this is how Nomad represents Hungarian goulash, Irish shepherd's pie, uh, what else do we have from there? The, the Canadian barley soup and the borscht. Man, I'm looking forward to this. So anyway, again, check out Garage Grown Gr Gr I can't say it's fast. GarageGrownGear.com. Again, not a sponsor, just a cool site. Check them out. Their food selection's good. Their gear selection's good. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you on the next one. See ya.